you all right? Hi, yes, yeah, so this week it's all about batteries. We've got eight Pylon Tech batteries ready to be unboxed and added to our system. So um, Fraser's gonna make a start on that. We're just out for a walk at the moment. Then he's gonna head into the barn, get started. Um, while Grace and I spend some time together. <laughs> We've had some really positive feedback so far about our solar power system, uh, particularly on Facebook. So thank you um, for all of your kind comments. Um, a lot of people asking questions as well. So it's given us a few ideas for some more videos. And we're going to be talking about cost, um, talking about exactly what we've used and doing a bit of a tour of it as well. Uh, we've still got to program the inverter. So that's going to be coming up as well. So lots and lots coming up. Uh, so if you want to join us on our journey, then do subscribe. And um, yeah, there'll be a video every week. All right, I'm packing these um, Pylon Tech batteries, the 3000C ones, and um, they come with... Uh, handles on and this handle here has got to come off the way I'm stacking them we've got these stackable brackets although I'm not stacking them very high for my situation um, I'm still stacking them and um, they're a bit of a nightmare these brackets to take off to be honest and I'm quite um, lucky I've got decent screwdrivers to, to do it because uh, they're I mean they're well built they're heavy things these even the handles are heavy and there's lots of these little screws in the tiny little screw but I wish they the only fault I'd find for these is if wish they put a bigger screw on there so you can actually get them off easier uh, they've got um, they've got spray paint this paint that's been sprayed on them has gone inside the head slightly so it's you've got to have a good a, a screwdriver with a really good fit Otherwise, and I've had a couple now, I've had to drill two of them out just uh, because there's also um, a little bit of plastic to lock them in on the thread as well. So as well as being painted over, they've got locking stuff on them. They don't want those handles coming off. They are well built. So, uh, but it is a pain. So I find I use this and give it a little bit of a tap first before I start trying to unscrew it. But you know, there's lots of screws, I've been lucky, I've only had two that I've had to drill out and um, it's just time consuming, you've got to be really careful, I don't want to mix, drill through into this case, that would be upsetting, especially at, I think, what they, over about a grand a pop, these, yeah, about a £1,000 each, so um, it, it is a bit of a worry, I wish that it just, it'd be nice if there was something they could just unclip, really, um, but as I say, they're well built. Heavy duty. I'm actually going to reuse these. I've got a door on this loft hatch and um, I'm going to reuse them because they're so well made. Right, so I'm just using my multimeter on these um, batteries. I'm switching them on and going along checking them all. And at the moment, they're all got, they've all got 49.4 volts. I've done, I've done four of them, so I've got four more to go. Hopefully they all got the same sort of voltage. That'll make things a bit more simple. Fourteen point 
Kuntu Bugger. Okay, we've got a problem. This one won't switch on at all, no lights. So all the other seven switched on fine. Turn the on button on. Press this button. Lights flashing. This one, nothing. So that's a good start. So now I've got to go back to the manufacturer, go back to where I bought them from and see how long that's going to take me to get something. So we're switching one battery on, a good battery, because we've never done this before and we're going to be using our MK3 device which is supposed to be for um, putting firmware onto things and setting up stuff. So we're going to use to be able to get this GX device to work to see what's going on in the computer so the GX device is like the brain and we need to tell it to tell us that the good one it works well in which case if we know how the good one works well we might have some idea when we plug it into the one that's not working of how that isn't working well the, the lights aren't coming on on this thing it won't switch on uh, the voltage was slightly less but not enough to be an issue it should still work so what they've said to do is um, try to find out more by going through this um, system to see what it could be. It could just be LED lights, but either way, I can't. you can't go digging into this, opening this up, you'll lose your warranty straight away. If we can find out what it is, maybe there's a chance it might work, but I doubt it. I do think this is a bit of a waste of time, but it's quite interesting. So we've logged onto the VRM um, portal for Victron Energy on the computer and we're gonna switch this on switch this on and see if it Let's see what happens does things right that's come on we've got a flashing light okay so, Plug in. Servo GX has got a flashing light. I don't know what the red light means because I haven't had time. I didn't think I was going to be doing this today. <laughs> Slightly winging it. Shall I plug in? Yep. Okay. That's the connection. I haven't connected. Brilliant. Wi Fi. Access point. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Lights flashing. I'm sure that's a good sign. Much better than the, the battery, anyway. <laughs> At least there's light. <laughs> working battery it's saying on the little green lights it's 50% charged so that's good uh, I'm not sure what the one that's not working is um, and I've never will be if the lights don't start working okay should, so. should also just add that um, Grace is at Fraser's parents because this is a two-person job to try and get this sorted we're drawing on all of our skill sets yeah uh, can't, can't be doing this alone. This is no. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going to uh, give it a go, do our best, and see if we can solve the problem. So add Servo GX. VRM portal ID. What the hell is that? Then? It says enter the VRM portal ID below. Please make sure that your installation is connected to the internet it won't be because it doesn't know where the internet doesn't know any of our password or anything like that um, you not put that in no no or in case of an offline installation upload your gx file first using the upload function here oh hang on 
we are in portal ID, ID for example can be found at menu settings volts so it's saying there's volts there but that's not working at all no so we've plugged it in yeah. like we did the one before um, and the servo GX is showing absolutely nothing in yeah. fact it hasn't even turned on has it when yeah. it's plugged into that battery whereas with the other one um, the touch screen up here when we plugged in the other one it showed that the uh, battery was completely healthy had that in the right hole, so. so I think our next stop then is we got an Put an Ethernet cable into that with that GX device because that wouldn't set up with um, because there's a glitch in the GX device when it's with the touch screen. Um, so it's throwing out. Is it the um, the cable it won't work with? Or an antenna or something with the HDMI cable? Apparently, need to look into it more. It won't work with some routers, and it, and our router might be one that it won't work with. So something about Wi-Fi channels or so network channels we've, or something. We've made, we've got far enough to know that that's a healthy battery, and that other battery won't even start up. So now it really does have to go back. Yeah. Right, our um, battery uh, went back because it wouldn't light up, switch the rocker switch on, held down the little red button, wouldn't come on. So that went back. As soon as they got it, they said it switched on. So they're doing tests on it to find out what it was. Uh, he's uh, gonna have a look, take it apart and see if there's a loose connection. Um, but that's a bit of a pain. So that's where we are with that. The Serbo GX, we had um, problems getting that connected to our internet because the Serbo GX has put its antenna in a strange position where it only allows some channels to work with your router. So that could have gone back uh, because uh, the deal has been made aware from Victron that there's a bit of a glitch with that, um, but it would have taken weeks to get it back. So. I've moved our router and hardwired it with an Ethernet cable so we don't rely on the Wi-Fi part of it to get our um, Wi-Fi from our router. So that bit got sorted after a lot of work. So we're still waiting on our eighth battery to well, really I'd like a new one um, because uh, that one's you know there's something obviously wrong with it. So hopefully they'll sort that out. Um, everything else is brilliant if you find this video helpful like and subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon